for prophecy. Sunday of for prophecy, February 28, 2021. For prophecy, I pray because I see military cop. I pray in Jesus. In the back street of downtown Bamako, a booming and illicit trade in gold. Young men risked their health using poisonous chemicals to purify $16,000 worth of gold. The job earns them around $2 a day. The gold bar will be sold on the international market, explains this trader who wants to remain anonymous. He says his gold could be more valuable than money now that Colonel Asimi Goita has seized power from the civilian government. The West African regional body ECOWAS is discussing possible sanctions against Mali, including the freezing of financial transactions and stopping the junta's ability to withdraw cash from the regional central bank. This could also affect Mali's legal gold exports, which accounts for more than 70% of the country's revenues. Hasimi Goita's special advisor says this would destabilize an already fragile state. We are a landlocked country. Sanctions would have a devastating impact. We would start lacking in basic necessities, we would have problems in cash flow and be unable to pay our army. To appease widespread condemnation over the military junta's dismissal of the civilian president and prime minister, the new head of state, Colonel Goita, has asked for the opposition M5 civil society movement to choose a new prime minister. Shogal Maiga is their candidate. We need to create a patriotic union to save Mali, a union to rebuild our country for the Malian people. Despite the turmoil and threat from armed groups, multinational gold mining companies have expanded operation in Mali over the last decade. Mali is Africa's fourth largest exporter of gold. There is so much untapped potential because of the crisis, from gold to oil to manganese. All of it is in the north. The lack of a stable state has allowed rampant corruption. While it has left many politicians and businessmen rich, most Malians have grown up in poverty, seeing the country's natural wealth and their say over it slip away. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Bamako.